Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the trailing stop with the TradingView mobile app. Now, if you're not familiar with a trailing stop, a trailing stop is just an automated way to move your stop loss as the market is moving in a favorable direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to initiate the trailing stop using the order ticket with the TradingView mobile app. So first things first, I want to activate the order ticket. We're going to hit create new order. And right now we're looking at the micro S&P 500. So right now I'm just going to use a very basic example. I'm going to go long at the current market price, but I want to show you how to attach the trailing stop. Now you do have the ability to attach a take profit as well if you wish. But for now, I'm just going to go and disable the take profit and we're just going to focus on the stop loss. So first thing I want to make sure is set my initial stop loss. I'm going to have an eight tick stop loss. So this means that whatever price that I get filled at on my long position, my stop loss is going to be eight ticks away from the entry price. Now notice where it says stop loss to the right of the blue check mark. I'm going to click where it says stop loss with my finger and you'll see trailing stop as one of the options. So I'm going to select trailing stop. And now what this means is I'm going to have an eight tick initial stop based on the entry price, but the trail stop is going to trail eight ticks behind the offer price. Now the reason why it's behind the offer price is because we have a long position. So whenever you're long, the trail stop will trail whatever value that you set, in this case eight ticks, behind the offer price. Now if I'm short, it's going to trail behind the bid price. So again, I repeat, if you're using a trailing stop, if you have a long position, the parameters that you set, the in this case, eight ticks is going to be eight ticks behind the offer price for long positions. For short positions, it's going to be eight ticks behind the bid price. All right. So again, it's important to understand that. So now we have everything in place. We're going to hit buy market. All right. And let's see what happened. Let's see where we are. All right. So it looks like we got filled at a price of 54.93 and a half. All right. So. Right now, you can see on the top left of the chart there, we're bid 95 by 95 quarter. So remember, as the market starts to move up in our favor, the trail stop's gonna trail eight ticks behind the offer price of 95.25, so 54.94 and a quarter. All right, so right now, see after our session, we don't got a whole lot of movement, so it's probably gonna be hard to demonstrate how the trail stop's going to work, but you can actually see the trail stop is working because it says TS there, TS instead of SL. SL represents stop loss, TS means trail stop. So that's how you know that you actually have a trail stop in place. So one more example, let's just close out the trade here. All right, and then let's just get into a short position this time. So we're gonna open up that order ticket once again. We'll go sell this time, mark it, and same thing, we'll do stop loss. Okay, so again, we'll stick with the same parameters of eight ticks, but this time, since we're going short, this means that the stop loss, trailing stop that is, is gonna trail eight ticks behind the bid price. So I'm gonna hit stop loss, activate trailing stop. So that's the main important thing you have to understand is in order for you to actually use a trailing stop, you actually have to select trailing stop from the actual stop loss menu that you see here. By default, it's always going to look like this. You have to make sure if you just leave it as is, there's no trail stop. In fact, here I'll, I'll execute a short position and you can see there, it, there there's no TS as you can see as, as you saw a moment ago. That's just a regular buy stop order to protect our position. All right, so now I'm going to close out the trade real quick. All right, let's, let's go ahead and activate that order ticket once again, create new order, and we'll go back to stop loss, and then we need to click on stop loss and select trailing stop. All right, so now we'll get into the position, and now you'll see that it actually says TS. All right, so in this case, right now the bid price is 94 and a half, so you can see it's 96 and a half at the moment on, on our buy stop because we have a short position. So again, since we're short, you now know that the trailing stop is gonna trail eight ticks behind the bid price. All right, and this is how you use a trailing stop using the TradingView mobile app.